I'm joined by Joffrey the Persian today. Joffrey's come in for some surgery. He's absolutely fine, but we'd like to tell you about a common poison that we see, lilies. Now, so many of the different varieties of lilies are poisonous to cats, like Joffrey here, that I would just generally recommend that anybody with cats don't have any type of lily in your house at all. So not all of them are poisonous, but pretty much most of them are. Um, so I wouldn't have any in the house at all. Now, the labelling on lilies is getting much better these days. It used to be that nobody really um, knew about this, but now a lot of the labels do say toxic to cats. And the problem with the lilies is that pretty much all parts of the lily, so um, the leaves, uh, the plant itself, the uh, flower, the, the pollen even, is really toxic. And if the cat ingests that, then they go into really nasty kidney failure. And it doesn't have to be um, that they're munching away on the cat. It can even be as tragic as they just brush past and they get covered in the pollen and then they groom off that pollen and, and that can cause enough damage to, to even be fatal. Signs that we see with kidney failure would be they, they start off getting really kind of depressed and, and lethargic um, and then you get vomiting and diarrhea and as that progresses um, they become really quite unwell and collapse and can even start to, to convulse and then unfortunately it, it's fatal. Now in terms of how long after they ingest the part of the lily plant that you see those signs it depends on how much they eat but it's usually somewhere between a couple of hours and, and six hours uh, but can be up to a day or two. Now the, the problem is that when these cats initially present, um, so if you brought them straight down, there's no test that tells us how bad that kidney failure is going to be. So um, usually at the first point, straight after they've eaten it, the blood's on that animal, the kidney function will be completely normal and it will progress over time. But if you wait until they show signs, if you wait until those kidney values are really elevated, then the prognosis is much worse and it's kind of too late to do anything about it. There's no real specific treatment, there's no antidote per se, all you can do is put them on a high dose of fluids and flush out the kidneys and that tends to take two to three days of continuous fluid therapy. So whenever a cat has had any exposure to lilies at all, all we can advise is that they are immediately presented, immediately put on a drip for three days. Uh, and it's too soon to tell when they first come in whether they're gonna be okay or not. But a lot of them, unfortunately, don't make it. And it's something we see at least a couple of times here a year at the clinic, if not more. So general advice from us at the clinic is if you have cats, no lilies at all in your house.